After your heart attack, as your confidence and strength grow, you'll want to get back to more aspects of your normal life. This chapter discusses when you can go back to work, start to drive, resume sex or go on holiday. For many people, work plays a big part in boosting their self-esteem and returning to work can be a positive step in your recovery. I need to go back to work. You're just bored at home, you need something to do. I like meeting people and seeing people every day. Most people should be able to go back to their previous jobs and you could do this as early as six weeks after your heart attack if it isn't too physically demanding or only involves light duties. For others, returning to work may depend on the nature of their job, so talk to your doctor or one of the cardiac rehab team about this. Talk to your employers too. They may be willing to give you lighter work for a while when you first go back. Some people though, having made a full recovery, decide they want to give up work and welcome the chance to spend more time with their loved ones. Bert told me life, so decided to take early retirement and start to enjoy myself and relax a bit more but have a lot more holidays now, hopefully. If you drive, getting back behind the wheel can be another big step to regaining your independence. If you've made an uncomplicated recovery, you should be able to start driving again after four weeks. But remember, if you have an attack of angina while you're at the wheel, stop driving and pull over. Only start again when your symptoms are controlled. Have a nice day, love you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You will need to let your car insurance company know about your heart attack to make sure you're still covered. And if you have a licence to drive a large goods vehicle or passenger carrying vehicle, you must let the DVLA know about your heart attack. They will ask your local hospital to carry out various tests and the results of these will help the DVLA decide whether you can keep your licence. If you're in a relationship, after a heart attack, it's normal for you and your partner to feel anxious about resuming sex. When you're in a relationship, you worry about the sex side. You think to yourself, oh, well, that's it's the end. But I thought, no, I've got to start asking questions. And when I went to, back to the rehab, I asked one of the professors there, uh, what's the situation regarding uh, making love to your partner? So he says, well, you're on a treadmill. I says, yeah. He said, well, there's nothing stopping you from starting making love to your partner again. He says, so long as you feel that you can walk up and down the stairs OK, there's no problems. So maybe partner started getting involved again and no problems ever since. Sex is just the same as any other physical exercise. So if somebody's able to run up and downstairs twice, then it, it can be quite blatant that, well, yes, you should be all right. And also the reassurance that it's normal that your heart races. The stair test isn't a bad guide, and if you can climb two flights of stairs without getting chest pains or becoming breathless, it should be safe for you to start having sex again. Be sensible as your physical strength comes back, as you can walk further and further, then you know you can start thinking about getting back to it. But cuddling, petting, stimulating each other gently, nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's quite important for a lot of people to feel loved and to feel secure after a heart attack in that way. So communication, as always with sex, is the big issue. If you're the patient and you feel that you're not ready yet, you want to leave it a bit longer, explain to your partner. It's not because you've stopped loving them. It's not because you're angry with them. It's not because you're punishing them and you do want one day to resume sex. You just feel it's a bit too early. If you are experiencing problems, don't be afraid to talk to your GP. They may be able to help. Loss of libido is quite common. Um, and that's a natural thing when someone's been unwell. It's not a top priority for a body that's recovering. It's hard to know whether it's a matter of loss of confidence sometimes or whether it is a physical effect. So again, if you can discuss with your partner leaving it for a while and then just slowly getting back to full sexual activity, very often as you feel your physical strength coming back, your confidence in bed will come back and there won't be a problem. Trying too early, too hard, and getting too wound up about it is a recipe for disaster. The more you worry about being able to keep an erection, the less likely you are to be able to do it. 
Maureen had to cancel her last holiday when she went into hospital, but now she's planning her next trip to Spain. I was a bit frightened, actually, of going abroad in case I took ill uh, in the beginning, but I don't feel like that now. I've got my confidence back, because it really does knock your confidence at first. And since I've been going to the um, rehabilitation, I've really got my confidence back now, so... I will be going to definitely to Tenerife at the end of September. Definitely. I'm really looking forward to that. A relaxing holiday can help your recovery, and your GP will be able to tell you if you're fit enough to travel, particularly if you're flying. For some people, it may be better not to travel until you feel fully well. And in the first few months, try to avoid very hot or very cold countries or places at high altitude. If you're going abroad, check your travel insurance to make sure you're covered and remember to take plenty of tablets with you. A heart attack can be a frightening experience, but over the weeks and months, most people make a good recovery and soon return to their usual activities.